To my words give ear, O Lord. Give heed to my sighs. Attend to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Warm welcome to all of you joining in our Mass this Thursday as our Lenten journey continues. As I've said before, each day of Lent the scripture readings invite us to think of one of the main themes or tools of Lent, prayer, fasting, almsgiving, and repentance. Well today is a day when we think again about prayer and especially the prayer of those imploring God for aid in desperate circumstances and situations. We believe that God listens to us. We believe that God knows what we need before we even ask for it. So let's think about the ways in which we trust the Lord and his love as we offer our prayers for ourselves and all in need. As we make ready to celebrate these mysteries, we first call to mind our sins and we ask for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering what is right and of hastening to carry it out, and since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther took refuge with the Lord in the mortal peril which had overtaken her. She besought the Lord God of Israel in these words. My Lord, our King, the only one, come to my help, for I am alone, and I have no helper but you, and am about to take my life in my hands. I have been taught from my earliest years in the bosom of my family that you, Lord, chose Israel out of all the nations and our ancestors out of all the people of old times to be your heritage forever and that you have treated them as you promised. Remember, Lord, reveal yourself in the time of our distress. As for me, give me courage. King of gods and master of all power, Put persuasive words into my mouth when I face the lion. Change his feeling into hatred for our enemy, that the latter and all like him may be brought to their end. As for ourselves, save us by your hand and come to my help, for I am alone and have no one but you, Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. 
Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Glory to you, Christ. You are the word of God. Now, now, it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart, for I am all tenderness and compassion. Praise to you, Lord. Glory to you, Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For the one who asks always receives. The one who searches always finds. The one who knocks will always have the door open to him. Is there a man among you who would hand his son a stone if he asked for bread, or would hand him a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then who are evil know how to give your children what is good, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So, always treat others as you would like them to treat you. That is the meaning of the law and prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading today was one of those examples of a book of the Bible that we only ever read once. I think it's only on this day that we read anything from the book of Esther. It's a remarkable story. Esther is a queen of Persia, but she's Jewish. She's become queen through a very strange series of events and her husband, the king, doesn't actually know she's Jewish. And he has been prompted to order the execution of all the Jews in his kingdom. Now Esther, through the influence of her uncle Mordecai, knows that she has to do something. She has to speak to the king in order to try and change his mind, to spare her people. And that's where today's section comes in before she faces the king with this request, which might well be rejected and might mean her own death, as well as the death of her people, Esther prays fervently to the Lord. She prays in the tradition of the people of Israel, doing what often happens in intercessory prayer. The first thing you do is remind God of the relationship in the past. Lord, you chose our people, you've been close to them, you forged a covenant with them. Well, remember us now and come to our aid. Help me, for I am alone. I have no one but you. Esther's prayer was actually answered. She did manage to persuade the king and the people of the, the Jewish people were saved. That's actually the origin of a feast that's still celebrated today, the Feast of Purim, when the people of Israel were saved from this attack in their time of exile in Persia. But that idea of in a moment of desperation, in a moment of fear, in a moment of loneliness and isolation, turning to God, that is the theme of our readings today. Jesus talks of it himself. Ask and you will receive. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. It's almost like Jesus is saying to those listening to him, don't give up on God. When things get tough, when perhaps you feel that God is far away, that's the moment to ask and to search and to knock. There is a second part to it though that Jesus makes clear. God will only give us good things. God will only give us those things which are best for us. And this is where we just have to remember that God sees more clearly than we do. That God's plan and vision extends far beyond this moment, this day. God's plan is eternal. And what is best for us eternally may not be what we think is best for us today. And so, in a sense, all our praying, our asking, our searching, our knocking must always start with the idea of saying, God, we know you love us. We know you want nothing but the best for us. We're bringing you this prayer in this situation of need, perhaps in this situation of desperation or despair, but we trust that you exist, that you love us, that you will do nothing but the best for us. 
that may not be what we think we need today and so we trust in you that that's our asking asking a loving father for a good gift for the right gift for the best gift in lent we're meant to be praying more each day giving a little bit more of our time to prayer and whilst the other day i was saying that we should spend that time perhaps just in silence with the lord sometimes we do have to ask for things but always do so in that attitude of trust lord i know you love me and i know you want what is best for me i'll bring you this situation of my need of the need of another of the situation in our world in our family in my life but i know that you will do nothing but the best for me come to my aid hear my prayer help me O oh lord So let's think for a moment or two now of the prayers that we bring to the Lord today. First, let's pray for anyone who is in desperate or life-threatening situations. Let us pray that the Lord may give his gifts of grace, that situations of fear may be changed into situations of hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves and the whole church, that we may be generous in our prayer, generous in praying for others who are in need, generous in offering to the Lord our intercessions for the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Inspired by Queen Esther, let us now, in a moment of silence, pour out our prayers and intercessions to the Lord. we ask for Mary's prayers as we say hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen most loving father hear the prayers your people offer you as you promise to be close to us so listen to our invocations and grant the gifts of your grace and love to all your people. For we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication 
and accepting the oblations and prayers of your people, turn the hearts of us all towards you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that, more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led by the fullness of grace, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. At Domine, et miserere, quia peccabibus tibi. Jesus, our Saviour, Lord of all the nations, Christ our Redeemer, Hear the prayers we offer. Spare us and save us. Comfort us in sorrow. Attende Domine et miserere. We have a Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in the time to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you. And may the riches of heaven be given to them, 
that they may know what it is right to ask and receive what they have sought. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux est orta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnes Speciosa, Vale, o oh valde de cora, et pro nobis, Christum exor.